Grammar and Context Commas for Openers and Closers We have already discussed one kind of opener using an awubis, but there are also other ways to open a sentence. One is to start with an ing verb. When you start with an ing verb, you must have a comma after that clause and before the complete sentence. Let's look at this sentence. Taking a narrower perspective on originality, the ad for Sorrel Boots dramatizes the idea that spontaneity is key to a distinctive personal identity. How can we tell the clauses apart? Which one is the independent clause? We look for the subject and the verb. This sentence pattern follows using an ing word and clause as an opener. Remember this? Weather is an awubis word, indicating an opener and a dependent clause. Because you have an awubis word at the beginning, you know you will need a comma before the complete sentence. But as a reminder, you can also switch awubis words around. When you have an awubis word in the middle of a sentence, it switches the clause from an opener to a closer. But these special words act as separators and you don't need a comma before them. It's different with ing words. Let's rearrange the sentence from the first example I showed you to make the ing opener into a closer. The ad for Sorrel Boots dramatizes the idea that spontaneity is key to a distinctive personal identity, comma, taking a narrower perspective on originality. I don't think the second sentence packs quite the punch the first one did, but it's still grammatically correct. Do you notice the big difference between ing words and awubis words when we arrange them to be in the middle of the sentence? We still need the comma with the ing words. So this is the pattern for the ing closer. Sentence, I, comma, ing word, closer. Around her ankles are sandy colored rings of shaggy fabric that are most likely attached to the socks, comma, giving the whole outfit a sense of nerdy flair. Using ing words, especially to add on additional information, is a great way of adding detail or clarification. The sentence pattern is to write a complete sentence and then to add information to the end using an ing word as a closer. Don't forget to add this kind of sentence to your toolbox. Now it's your turn. Write two sentences, one using an ing word as an opener and one using an ing word as a closer. There are more ways to add extra information at the end, what I'm calling closers, than just ing words. You can also use prepositions and nouns, as in these examples. For the preposition, the downturn of her nose points to the short gray back dress that stops several inches above her knees, but covers her chest and shoulders modestly, comma, with a collar situated at the base of her neck and sleeves that reach for her elbows. Or you could use a noun. They gave her the power to shoot down the chandelier, comma, the push, that's the noun, she needed to give in to the long-held desire that perhaps she couldn't have indulged in without the extra help. All of the sentences here have been from a student paper doing visual analysis of an ad, a kind of essay you might be asked to write in one of your English courses. The best way to add these punctuation tools to your toolkit is to pay attention to whatever you are reading and to see what kinds of sentence patterns the authors are using.